Hi guys, it's Shelly here. Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today. So today I thought I would share with you a book that I just received and I bought it off Amazon UK and it is the second book. I'm, I'm assuming it's uh, from what I know is the second book by Paul Brune and it's called Amazon. And the first book, um, which just started popping up on, um, you know, on Instagram and YouTube and all in the last couple of months, previous months, was this book by Paul Brune, Animal de Bois, or Bois is French. I've forgotten a lot of my French, but this is, I think, a forest themed book. And then this one is, um, I think, the F Amazon forest, I'm assuming. But basically, yeah, so this book was quite popular. I showed, I didn't do a flip through of this book on the channel because I think there were already a few flip throughs out there. Um, and I did show it in my What I'd Like to Colour during the spring months video. And quite a few people want me to do a colour along in this book. So it was quite popular. And um, I really liked what I saw found in this book when I bought it. The paper is really good. The illustrations are really good. Um, I basically fell in love with this artwork straight away and so it was a no-brainer that I was going to get the second book although I did see some sneak peeks on Paul Brune's Instagram account and that's why I didn't wait for any flip to see any flip throughs before I bought it I just decided to buy it once it was available and um, that's a very rare, rare thing for me to do I always wait um, for a bit but I'd fallen in love with this book so much so that um yeah I I, I knew I, I would want the second one anyways and so the few pages I saw on Instagram that Paul Brune showed um I liked and so I went for it now I'm assuming I haven't I haven't translated anything but I'm assuming this is um basically flowers and fauna or what, what do you call it animals and flowers and all from the Amazon forest um, it's basically the same um, the same square format of book um, the thickness it is a little bit thinner but that's not because of the paper that I think there's just a few uh, slightly fewer pages um, for coloring in the book but there's still plenty but yeah fewer pages to color in the new book um, and that's why it's slightly thinner same size that's the binding. It's by the publisher Mara Marabu Marabout. I don't know, but basically that's the publisher. Yeah. And um, yeah, I thought I'd do a quick flip through for you guys in case you haven't seen any. I didn't search to see if there's any flip throughs yet. Um, I just because I didn't wait for a flip through. I just bought it as soon as it was available on Amazon UK, which I think it was released. Where are we? We are on the 8th of March. I think it was released on 8th of March on Amazon UK. Um, I'm not sure if it's available on like Amazon US or anything like that yet, but um, probably is. Um, you can just check it out. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd do a quick, quick flip through, show you what's in the book. Um, and um, yeah, I want to know what you guys think, whether you guys like this book. I know the first one was very popular. Um, so it would be interesting to know whether you guys think the same of this one. The paper is basically the same as the first, really good thick cardstock. Now I haven't coloured in the other one yet, um, which doesn't help because I can't tell you how my mediums work. But I will hopefully be doing a colour along soon, um, eventually in the next month or so at least. And so um, hopefully I'll be able to update you on that. But yeah, white paper has a little bit of tooth to it and definitely thick. Um, yeah, so we have a little bit of illustration there. Everything is in French, so I haven't translated anything yet. You can always use Google Translate to do that. Now with my flip throughs, I don't tend to um, discuss every page in absolute detail because I like to leave something for you guys to discover yourselves when you look through your own books. Um, I'm like that. I, I like to flip through a book myself, physically flip through it myself and find all the little details and all the surprises in a page. Um, and so I won't point everything out at you. Um, so but hopefully you can see everything, but I'm sure there'll be lots of flip throughs that will be available if there aren't any yet. So lots of flowers, botanics, 
water. I'd be interested to know which one you guys prefer, the first book or this one. I'm looking through this maybe the second or third time now. Um, I think I might know which one my favourite is, but I'll see once I finish flipping through it again this time. There's a snake there. The first book had a lot of like pages where there were smaller illustrations that you could just get stuck into. Um, I think there's slightly fewer of those on in this book. Just beautiful artwork. The flowers and stuff. And I love that they're so big that you can get so much shading done. Um, I think the, uh, the the way the paper is, I'm sure, as you guys know, I use Albert Durer's a lot. I'm sure the Albert Durer's will work brilliant on this paper. Bugs. When I get to the end of the book, there is an index where it shows, where it um, does uh, name certain things on the page. So maybe some flowers. And this particular book has the Latin um species written out as well as the French whereas I don't, if I if I remember correctly the first book didn't have the Latin I think it was just in French so I don't know if that helps some people there's a lot of birds I noticed in this book it is uh, stitch bound as well And then you have some water themed ones, which are, which is nice in this book. It's a little bit different to the first one. Sorry if you can hear the wind outside. It's really, really windy today. Um, I thought spring was supposed to be coming soon. It is warmer, but it's really windy. Um, so yeah, it's quite some really interesting, um, what do you call it, perspectives or how they've done certain of the illustrations, the patterns they've used. Birds. <laughs> so if someone doesn't like birds, this might not be the book for you. I really like this page, this double page spread. Look at that. It's beautiful. I don't know how I would color it though, because if you can see, you can see through. Would this be a leopard, would you say? Possibly. Um, but yeah, you can see through the leopard in certain areas, so it would be really hard. Um, I don't know. I'm finding it at the moment, just flipping through. I haven't sat down and thought about it, but how you're going to actually color that. It's quite interesting. I like this perspective. Really liked that. I noticed that a couple of the illustrations, like this one, has a lot lighter line art than like that, for example. It looks a little bit lighter or thinner line art. Also, if you don't like colouring leaves or flowers, <laughs> this might, again, not be the book for you. I don't know what that is. Hopefully it tells us at the back of the book. I really, I, I haven't had much time to colour actually recently um, and so I haven't really got around to getting started on the books that I said I want to colour for the spring season which is quite a shame but 
this can be really nice and colourful with all these different fish. But yeah, I'm really, really, um, you know, I really have the urge to get started on the first book. So hopefully I can get stuck in soon. I really, again, like this page, this double page spread. That's beautiful. Hopefully it tells us what all these plants are in the back. There's lots of different plants that I can't, as it is, I'm not good with flowers and plants. So hopefully it does actually share with us because there's a lot that I haven't recognized. It's nice that you have a busy page and some simpler pages that hopefully wouldn't take as long. So it gives you the options. And then this is the back. So that was the last page. And then this is the back, the index. So this time round, they had given the Latin species name as well um, as the French. So that's really good. And so I can, hopefully that one says orchid. So hopefully they do give the name of the flowers as well as maybe some of the animals. I'm, I'm hoping that because I can't identify every single bird. I don't know whether I'm going to color these realistic, but kind of illustrations they are in my mind I would find it really hard to not do it go for realistic colors um so I think I would more than likely stick to more realistic colors so I would want to look them up and that's the back it just has a little cover like that and there we go so what do you guys think I know that this book was very popular and then I do like this book. I really like them both actually, but I feel the theme of this book for me, the animals that are included, like with the bunnies and uh, what else were they? The fox and things like that. I think I do like this book more with regards to that, but I like that this book has um, gone into some more of the water themed pages as well. So I like them both. But I think I prefer some of the animals specifically in this book. But they are beautiful books. I would love to know what you guys think. So let me know in the comments below. Hope you like the flip through. And um, I will catch you guys soon again. Hopefully I will get some videos out soon now. Because I've had very little time for colouring. And so I've not managed to start doing any colour alongs. But hopefully I'll be back with colour alongs very soon. So until the next video, take care. Thank you for watching as always.